What do you do with your old prescriptions, and why is it important for you to know? Erica Wilkinson, who is a pharmacist at Salina Regional Health Center, joins me today on The Pulse to talk about this and other medication issues. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I wanted to start out to talk about what to talk to your pharmacist about when you pick up medication. The pharmacist provides counseling for every new prescription. Um, also, they're, they're available for any questions that the patient has during the time of refill pickups or um, over-the-counter item purchases, anything like that. Um, the pharmacist will provide information on side effects. We're also scanning for drug interactions as well with existing prescription medications. Also, not, even, uh, not only prescription medications, but over-the-counter medications, herbal medications, vitamins, alcohol, all of those things can cause drug interactions that the pharmacist can assess the severity of those and communicate what the patient should do. Sometimes it's severe enough though that the physician or prescriber needs to be contacted as well for a medication change. How about the recommendations for completing your prescription? So some medications like antibiotics, it's really important for you to take the entire um, therapy. Other medications like as needed cough medicines or pain medicine should only be taken for the time that you're sick or that you're having pain. Any medications left over after that time period should be safely disposed of to prevent theft or misuse. Which leads us to the drug take back day. Why don't you talk about that? Right, so Drug Take Back Day is a national event that occurs twice a year. It's promoted by the DEA and the local law enforcement agencies, and it's a good way to encourage patients to get rid of their unused or expired medications. In Kansas last April, the last Drug Take Back Day, they collected over 13,000 pounds of unused medications. The next event is October 26th, it's a Saturday, and SRHC is excited to be a host site to collect these medications. From 10 to 2 that day, patients can drop off their unused or expired medications in front of the main entrance to the hospital in the Circle Drive. And there's many sites across Kansas that are doing participating in Drug Take Back Day, and you can find a complete list at takebackday.dea.gov. What if someone can't come to Drug Take Back Day? Sure, there's a couple other things that we recommend. One being um, at home, you can actually mix your prescription medications, take them out of the original container and mix them with something that's unpalatable like kitty litter or coffee grounds. Mix them together, place them in a sealed container like a Ziploc bag or an empty carton of milk um, and put it in your household trash. However, if you have any controlled prescriptions, those being anything for sleep, ADHD, or opioid pain medications, those really should be taken to the local police department, or you can take them to an authorized collector listed on the DEA website. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.